In this video, we're going to be taking a look at making mockups. Um, and obviously, this is a very important step in rhinestone designs. Once we've finished a design, we want to be able to put it on something, whether it be a, a tote bag or a t shirt or a sweatshirt or whatever we might like to put it on in order to show our customer a reasonable simulation of what their design might look like on a finished garment. And of course, it's very easy to do here in Easy Stone. And one of the unique ab abilities here in Easy Stone is we can actually create our own mockups. So we can use our own mockup images. Um, and not all programs can we even do mockups. And then the next step, of course, is we want to be able to do our own mockups. And so we've built Easy Stone in such a way where it's really simple for us to create our own mockup templates that we can use again and again. So the first thing I want to show you is a couple of things as far as creating a mock-up your your own mock-up so there but there are a couple of things that we need to do here so let me just show you this so first of all if you go to your C drive and go into program files and here in easy stone macro there's a folder called proof sheets now these are pre-installed with easy stone now we give you a few and in fact I have a few extra listed here uh, that I've created since my original installation of easy stone but there is something we need to change we need to change a security setting for this folder so that you will be able to create your own uh, mock-up templates and store them in this same location so to do that what we want to do is go back here to the easy stone macro folder under program files and right click on proof sheets come down to properties and then here you want to click on the security tab. Now this is a Windows requirement. It's kind of goofy. Windows doesn't want you to uh, be saving files within program files. Okay, this is kind of a secure location. So what we're going to do is we're going to give Windows explicit permission to allow EasyStone to save files within program files. So all we're going to do is come down here to where it says users and then we want to choose edit and then click on your user tab and just click on allow full control so we can modify existing content we can read and write uh, to this folder etc etc go ahead and hit apply now I've already done that of course on my machine so we can go ahead and click on OK and we can back out of that now what about making our own mock-up template now we actually have a separate video that goes really in-depth but for this example, for this mock-up template, we're going to do a super, super basic layout. Um, so we're going to come in here to Proof Sheets. And for our purpose, it doesn't matter which one of these we select. Um, we're just going to borrow one little bit of it. So we'll just open up a proof template, and this is what you get. Now, there's a bunch of information here. Again, we won't go into it, what's all here. But see this little colored square? We need that little colored square. So we're just going to copy that, control C to the clipboard, and then I have a new template that I've been kind of manipulating. So I want to open that up. So this image was uh, posted to the Bling Craftology Facebook group, and uh, for the, the designs that we're going to be putting on this shirt, I thought, well, hey, this would be a perfect uh, proof template. But obviously this particular uh, t-shirt design didn't come with easy stone so what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new proof template for uh, this image but that little colored square that we copied to the clipboard we're now going to paste in place and we need this we're going to just kind of resize it to fit our shirt here and we'll resize it this way too so just kind of lay it over wherever you want it doesn't really matter okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Okay, so we're going to hit File, and we're going to hit uh, Save As, and we're going to save it within Easy Stone Macro, within our proof sheets, and we're going to call it something proof. So, for example, we're going to do proof, and then let's uh, do V-neck football jersey woman whatever you want whatever you want or maybe maybe we'll, we'll uh, I think this is called Enza brand um, we'll, we'll give it some type of description that makes sense to you alright so once we've done that um, we'll go ahead and hit uh, save 
and because we uh, gave Windows explicit permission it in fact allowed us to save this template um, in that proof location so now we can go ahead and close this out and we'll close this out as well we're not going to save the changes so now the fun part now we actually get to create our mock-up so that's how easy it is to create a very basic template so let's look at a design um, to uh, create our first mock-up now the design that we're going to use I'm going to use an EPS file that we downloaded from our website because this is probably the most typical way you guys will want to create mock-ups not necessarily every design that we create is going to be a design that we create in easy stone so we may buy a design we may buy a design from bling art usa we may download a design uh, from a facebook group um, you know we may buy a design from the, the rhinestone world wherever you're getting your designs from it's going to be the same kind of across the board so this is an eps file that we've downloaded from our website it's a brand new file that we just uh, posted and so we're going to delete everything but this version so what we really need to do is we need to convert this design if you didn't create it with easy stone we need to convert this design and we and we need to create it or convert it so easy stone understands what these stones are and uh, what colors we want associated because right now they're just a bunch of dots okay it doesn't know what's an SS 16 what's an SS 10 it doesn't know any of that and so we we actually created a utility that will do that for us in just a second um, and that's what's great um, because it makes it really super simple so again this would be true with any third-party design you would go through the same process so what we're going to do is just select the entire design and we're going to click EP and that is our uh, easy prep utility and then we're going to uh, go ahead and choose process by color for this example and what it does is it shows us a color and so we're going to say okay well we know we want those to be jet so let's everything's listed alphabetically here so we'll hit process by color and then it's going to show us the next preview color which in this case it is citrine and then the last color is going to be crystal so there we go so now the design has been converted into a format that easy stone can understand so what what that means is is we can come in here and get a stone report so it breaks down all of the stones that it tells us what size the design is and you can see it tells us SS6 and tens for crystal citrine jet black and the total number of stones in the design so that's kind of handy we can also click on calculate stone uh, cost um, because we've already entered that data into easy stone so it's going to tell us we're going to use four dollars and thirty three cents worth of stones um, so that's kind of nice as well but what we can also do is we can simulate this design so instead of just you can see these are just circles we can actually convert these into a simulated stone so to do that we're just going to select our design and we're going to right click on s for simulate and it's going to simulate the design now this would not be possible if we didn't first convert the design so now you can kind of see what it looks like these are all simulated rhinestones so now we can go ahead and put it on a shirt so what we're going to do to do that is just go ahead and select the entire design come over here to MU and that is for mock-up and it's going to analyze our design and then it gives us this proof sheet um, box here so we're going to select proof form and remember that one that we saved earlier let's find it there it is proof v-neck football jersey Enza so we're going to select that now our mock-up tool is pretty advanced there's all kinds of things we can do to it we can enter our business contact info we can enter our customer contact info and do all kinds of crazy things and it will show up on our proof sheet well in this case the particular template that we're using doesn't have all those fields to add all that data so 
we'll we'll get a warning message to say, hey, there's some missing data here. Um, do you want to continue? And we'll just go ahead and ignore it. So watch what happens here. So all we've really done at this point is selected the proof form that we want to use, and we're going to click right here, create proof sheet. And you can see it's it's telling us, hey, what's going on here? There's some missing data. That's fine. We'll just skip it. Yes, we want to continue. And it will go ahead and create our proof our mock-up here. And so now you can see our design is sitting on top of our shirt. So then once we have that, uh, we can come in here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a weed box around the whole design just because we can. And then I'm going to go ahead and export this as a image. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and export a jacket girl. So now it's been exported. We have a, a JPEG on our desktop. And I just want to show you the end result here. So this this is our finished result with our um, little jacket or hornet design on our shirt. So that's how easy it is to create a mock-up. It's very, very straightforward. So let's go ahead and close this out. And what if we took a look at a slightly different design? So in this case, what if we looked at a Packer design? So this doesn't have any stones in it at all. Um, this particular design um, is just an HTV design. So we're going to go ahead and select it, and we're going to do the same thing. Create proof sheet. Again, it's warning us hey, there's some missing data. That's fine. And there is the HTV design on our mock-up. And again, we could export um, the, in the same fashion. The other thing I want to point out in regards to these proof templates is we, I'm going to go ahead and add a weed box around this as well. But this uh, setup could be any way we want. So remember that uh, this template here that we created. Um, so for example, what I mean by that is let's say what if we wanted to put a glitter background on it. Um, however you want this to appear on your website. If you wanted to put your logo down here, you could put your logo down here. So every time you export a design, um, it would have your logo already in place. So you just set up this template however you want it to look, and then any design that you put on top of it um, will already be set up for you. So everything will look exactly uh, identical. So anyhow, that is how you go about creating a mock-up and you can see it's really really super simple to do um, and if you have any other questions in regards to mock-ups or setting up your mock-up template originally uh, feel free to give us a call or drop us an email and we can walk you through that process a little bit more in detail thanks for watching